So of course, we've already seen this error in Postman, right? We saw, you are not authorized. You must be logged in to use this application. This, however, is how it's going to look when we're using the Azure Client SDK. Obviously, we're going to handle it in similar ways, but the Client SDK does some of the heavy lifting for us. So let's look at exactly what we're going to do with the Client SDK to handle things the way we handled it in our testing code with Postman in the demos. First off, we need to know whether we're using Client Flow or Server Flow. Now, of course, we used server flow for the most part for our demos there. We actually looked at opening up web views, following the redirects, grabbing the tokens out of query strings and the segments. But client flow is also a very valid option. As a matter of fact, Google is disabling support for web views. And since our Azure mobile app, our Azure mobile SDK, as well as Xamarin Auth use web views, Client flow is going to look like a much more attractive option. Now there is a middle ground. We have, there are some tools out there that use a thing that's very similar to a web view, but doesn't have any API access. And that makes it more secure. First, let's see about requesting authentication. Our mobile service client has to actually request to have the web view opened, to have things directed to our Twitter login, our Facebook login, etc. This behind the scenes is actually going to be opening up the web view and going to those slash dot auth endpoints that we hit manually earlier. Behind the scenes, it obviously needs to know which slash dot auth endpoint it's hitting. So that's why we're going to tell it. Let's log in with Twitter. Let's log in with Google, etc. Just like we did it ourselves with the browser and we needed to enable Twitter first, obviously we're only going to be able to request a authentication endpoint that that particular service already has enabled. If they haven't enabled Twitter on that endpoint and I request Twitter from a client perspective, it's simply going to give us an error. Now, a lot of this code is platform specific. That means if we're in a shared project, then our iOS, our Xamarin forms, our Android stuff can all just use conditional compilation. Like so, if Android, include the context, which is what we have to do with Android. If iOS, include the UI application instance, which is what we have to do with iOS, etc. If you're on a PCL, then you actually will have to use some sort of abstraction. So for instance, maybe define an interface I login provider with the method login. And then on each of your platforms, of course, you would implement that interface. Then on Android, for instance, again, you'd use the login that used a context. On iOS, you use the login that needed a shared application. Now, in all cases, it's using the mobile service client class, but the mobile service client class is actually different on each platform. They're very, very similar, but they're different. And then of course, on Windows, you have the Windows flavor, which actually doesn't need any extra data. It just passes in the provider directly. Then with your interface now defined and your implementers, now define, that is the classes that implement that interface, you're going to need some sort of injection technique, whether you're using dependency injection or service location or any of the other techniques that we discuss in our XAM 110 and XAM 300 classes. This, for instance, is using the Xamarin Forms dependency service. So all that would be for our server flow. Now, the client flow, again, actually assumes that you go and get the Facebook SDK or go and get the Google SDK and that you interact with that app and that SDK on the client side and whatever it does is essentially black box, but it ends up giving us an identity token. So then after doing our platform specific stuff and our, our IDP specific stuff to get that token, you'll notice we can actually provide that token data to our login method. So here we're saying login async, for provider Facebook, and oh, by the way, I already have the identity token, right? So we're telling our Azure SDK that we already have the identity token. It will in turn complete the login process and give us a resource token. And as of today, here are some of the resources you can go through to actually get those client SDKs for the client flows. Bear in mind, of course, providers like Facebook and Google can themselves release new and different and updated SDKs, 
Regardless, the point is we need to be able to get that token from them. So if they have a SDK for getting a token from them, then that's an SDK that'll work for us. Twitter right now does not have a Xamarin SDK, but there are several third parties out there that do work with Twitter and Xamarin to get you a Twitter SDK, or rather a Twitter token.